Hello, uh, welcome, um, uh, this is, this is, yes, uh, artists, uh, conversing with artists. I'm Guy J. Jackson, and I'm in conversation with Nathan Penlington. Hello, I'm, uh-oh. Uh, you need to turn it off if we're going to have yes. an artist on artist. Better check it out and see what I got here. I'm Nathan Penlington, I am, uh, UK's only poet, magician. One of the things about being an artist, I'll just mention this now, is that we're sort of always in demand. Um, people are sort of asking us to do things, generally for, for nothing, which will be a, a point we'll bring up. Yes. Um, yes, artist, uh, well, artist in conversation with artists. So, I'm Guy J. Jackson, and this is Nathan Penlington. And Hello, I'm Nathan Penlington. I am the UK's only poet magician. And I'm Guy J. Jackson. I am a storyteller and writer and such like. Okay, so um, uh, back. I, I wanted to go back to a question I asked earlier. Uh, what is your earliest memory of of art? Of art. My earliest memory of art. Um, or your earliest memory of writing a poem, say. Um. So I, I'm quite inspired by things that are almost poems and I think most of the world can be transformed into into poetry. Mm -hmm. um, I think one of the earliest poems I remember that I was part of the process of would be um, a mark my, my mum had made on the uh, door frame just to measure my height. Um, it's just a tiny line. I think she put a cookery book on my head and then just drew a line mm -hmm. across the top. Um, and then obviously over time, there was more lines, um, one above each other taller. as I grew taller. And I think, I'd like to see that... You turned out quite tall, by the way. I turned out very tall, yeah. Or if we just stand, stand up for the camera real quick. To see, um, so you can just see to so about here. So if you can imagine yeah. the rest yeah. of my height. Um, and obviously when I first started out as a human, I was probably quite small. Mm -hmm. um, so I, I think that was really my first memory of of art, of like a, a fluid creation almost, I think. Oh, because it involves myself. Like if you put, she was putting, you remember like her putting the mark above yeah. your head and her putting the mark above, and, and then it and then it became several marks on yeah. the door, and so yeah. like, like, like writing, making a mark, you know. Yeah, I know. Um, I suppose it, oh, you can look at it as like art. You know, it's about a series of marks that is made. Right? Yeah, it's like a series of you construct. You um, when you're writing something, you start and then you you know you, and you make keep, more marks. Yeah, over you, time, and you, and, you, and you mark on the piece of paper, and you mark, 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 and then uh, gradually you have an entire short story, yeah, or an entire sculpture, or or a poem, or, or, a poem, or an entire painting. novel, yeah. or a painting. Well, I think I think that's. Really, where it, where it all began for me. That's what or I was like, um, what was I thinking of? Oh, or a movie. Yeah, and like exactly. You the same just, way you just have movie. to progress. And like everything in life, you yeah. have to do ant sized bits. But anyway, that was, I'm sorry, that's a bit off the subject. That was your earliest memory. Definitely. Of what makes a poem. Yeah. Is your yeah. mom just drawing it? That's interesting. Um, What's about you? Yeah. I know you spoke before about Stephen King. That's your, that's your first. Yes. Um, Stephen King and... Uh, I, I, oh, my very earliest memory of writing was... was um, it was... Uh, I can't remember which one it was, but I, I got out this, this butcher paper we had at home. Um, my father was a butcher. For a little while, uh, so we had this butcher paper at home, or perhaps. Anyway, somehow we we got the butcher paper home, and and you would roll it out across the carpet. So I remember like uh, drawing a um, uh, piece of you know, and I drew this. I drew. I think I drew a movie frame by frame across the carpet, and that's probably my first memory of 
of like the process of writing something because it you know I think I think uh, the reason I brought that that up about earliest memories is I think that um, according to psychologists anyway your earliest memory is is defines you okay I see okay. so your entire life is it's based out on your first on your earliest first memory. memory so for example the, the uh, well so my so my mum sort of measuring my height against the door frame. Mm -hmm. um, oh, well, I suppose that's true. I mean, I suppose that I, my um, my writing is always written from the viewpoint of my eyes. Almost, it's things that I've seen, um, which comes from my height, doesn't it? My eyes will be at a certain viewpoint. So I suppose that I've got taller, then the angle changes slightly in my writing. You know? Yeah, it's not that I'm looking down on smaller people. Um, but just being able to observe, almost like a bird would flying over some things. Yeah. But obviously I'm not that but I...